Hello and welcome. All right, let's set up the Saber Box and analyze a clip. So to do that, I'm gonna start by going to the GitHub. GitHub, click, look up Ben Cohn 2004. There's other ways to get here, but this way works. Click users, ah, click clack. Go down to Saber Box. Now we're in the repository. Here we have three files, well, okay. Two files, one we're going to grab a little bit later. So there's two models we need to download and put into our Google Drive. So first one, this one, open link in new tab. This one will also open link in new tab. You can do whatever you want. Idea is to download. Download anyway. Save file. Download the second model. Save file. Yes. So now that we have those two files downloaded, one, they're both models. And then we go back to our the GitHub. Then we come up here to one of these video clips. Click, download, save link as, that works. Downloads, save. Now, now that we have the three files either downloaded or downloading, go over to our Google Drive. Oop. Google. Google Drive, Google Drive, place our files in the Google Drive. One of the files is pretty big, about 245 megabytes, so that might take a little bit. The other two are pretty quick. All right, now that we have the files in our Google Drive in the top directory, I'm gonna make sure they're named correctly. If you download things multiple times, sometimes you'll get extra numbering associated, which is fine, but not really what I want here. And it make it difficult for the model to recognize the correct name file. Okay, now we got this part done. Go over to Google Colab. Go back to the Google. Go to Google Colab. Google Colab, that works. Here, now we're gonna go to GitHub, the GitHub tab, go back to our um, GitHub, Saberbox. Now this is a um, Google Colab notebook. And here we now have the actual program that's gonna run. So from here, make sure the name is associated with our file, ours was 88. Go back to the Google Drive to check. Yep, 88.mp4, 88.mp4. Make sure the runtime is GPU. TPU will probably work. I think T is for tensor processing unit. Doesn't matter, it's fine. And then we do click. Make sure the top one is selected. You don't have to make sure the top one is selected. Just do run all. One that's not authored by Google, yep, is authored by me. So I trust it. You have to make your own choices in life. So now it's going to start thinking. Going to go to the Google Authorize our access to our Google Drive. So now we're gonna authorize access. This is gonna give us access to not only read, but write. So you do kind of actually wanna be careful about just authorizing your notebook with strange um, programs. Close that, now that we've got the code. Now the program's gonna run. And it'll take a little bit. Usually it takes about uh, about a minute or so per second a clip. Clips are probably one to three seconds. So we'll give this a couple minutes so I think through what it's doing. Now that the program is run, we have three files that are downloaded. They are videos of what's going on. And the first one is just an out video. And it kind of shows you what the video is looking at here, what the model is seeing. So you have little tracking boxes, have little bell guards, which is pretty good. And also have a representative uh, video coming out. Whoop. Shows you just the bell guards. And then you have another one, which is just really for convenience, showing an overlay of the two. 
Whoop. So one thing to check when looking at these is to make sure that the dots actually line up with the bell guards. Because if they don't line up, then what's going to happen is you're basically going to be putting bad data into the model. So here, whoop, lines up yeah, pretty well. And so then the model, after all the data, and then you have a whole bunch of data down here, and then at the very bottom, it'll give you what the thought process is. So it says this model predicts, uh, I believe it's pretty certain, 99%, that it will be a tack from the right. So looking back at the model, just kind of get an idea. Yeah, maybe. Seems possible. I'd go with tack right. So pretty close, but pretty, pretty possible as well. So that's how you run the model. You can load up new clips by putting them into your Google Drive and then referencing the name up top and then just running it again. You can run it again by run all or with control F9. So hope you enjoy this. I enjoyed making it. Let me know what you think. Take care.